Hello, this is the Gaming Space, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we will be looking at the B9 Aerospace Pack, which adds a lot of jet engines, wings, and other stuff that makes your airplane experience a whole lot more fun, and a lot bigger, of course, because bigger is better, obviously. So let's go into our mod world, because that's just what we do. And then, uh... Go to the space plane hangar for for a change. Uh, and... So if we go to... The, go to the pods, you can see we have this Mark V cockpit, which is... Probably about a three-person... Wait, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. Three-person cockpit. About 2.5 meter diameter. Just like your standard shuttle-ish cockpit, but I like this one better. Um... And then we have the S2 reusable pod, which is kind of like a, in the smaller diameter size. And and this one, I like the I like the jets on this one, like the detail. And how many people? Does it, this it's two. And then we finally have the one man capsule, which it well not really a capsule, but this the heavy duty thing. It's a hypersonic front section, and what's cool about it is that you can retract the cockpit, and you know. Have it produce less aerodynamic drag. And that, but the animation is still really cool. And see if we go into structural. Um, this is where most of the parts are. Um, let's see. So let's start off with the different sizes of parts. Um, there's first the 1.25 meter. Uh, I don't know what, uh, what they call it here. But, um, hmm, I'm trying to find it. Probably get that other mod which allows you to short sort everything because this would make my life a whole lot easier right now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, cause it, it was like right here. Um. Oh yeah, the Mark One Universal Fuselage. So it kind of looks like this, kind of like your standard one point two five meter fuselage. And see the nice thing about every tank from B nine is that you can set it up differently. You can set it to have all liquid fuel, all liquid fuel and oxidizer, and I don't think this one comes with a monopropellant variant, but that's the Mark 1 size, um, and then we go to Mark 2, which is kind of like, uh, that slanted look, like from the better space plane parts or something like that, I don't remember what that was before 0.25 came out, and this was part of default, and the the pod that this goes with is the this kind of pod. Well, I mean, not perfectly. It actually it goes better with uh, if I can find it. I forgot to show you the eyes of this pod, which was uh, a one-person cockpit, and uh, yeah, the Mark II size. Now let's look at Mark III, if I can get there. Um, HX is like the biggest size, by the way. Um, let me see here. Oh, then it's, then I think it's S2, which looks like this. It's a bit, it's a bit bigger. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's about, about, uh, this size. Yeah, it is this size. Well, a little bit smaller than that, but you kind of get the idea. This one, let me see if there's a, yeah, this is a monopropellant version, and, uh, yeah, that's, I think those are the three variants that you can have a fuel tank, which reduces a lot in your part count, which allows the mod to take up a lot less space. And the problem with, because the problem with space in this game is that, um, since Kerbal Space Program is 32-bit, well, I mean, you can get the 64-bit, but it's always, like, buggy in, like, every single version, which really annoys me. But, anyways, in 32-bit, you can only have, like, Oh, I don't remember, like, 2 to 3 gigs of RAMs of stuff in there. So, that limits you on how many mods you can have, basically. Without the game crashing every every time you log in, every time you get in. And then, anyways, we then have the... Hmm, this S2 wide. Which, as it says, is just a wider version of the S2s. Um... Hmm... I don't think there's anything else on, uh, here, but I think that's the largest version until we go, oh, yeah, I forgot about AHL. 
HL is the largest, a larger size up from that. And look at this cargo bay, like, wow. Like, you fit, uh, let me see. Can you fit 3.575 meter tank in here? Uh, hmm. Not this one. Uh, this one. That's a little too big. But you can easily fit 2.5 meter fuel tanks or anything that's 2.5 meters in um, size in there. Um, but... What was I going back to? So then we have... But then... Then we have the, uh, HX. Which is the largest size, which you can use to make space stations and all that. This is HX. If I can just get... Yeah, look at the size difference between HL and HX. Like, seriously. Um, I think... No, this doesn't come with it. The hollow structural modules, I think, can come with different modes, like... Um, there's, like, totally enclosed, um, one side open, two side open, three side, is it, no, is that four, that's four sides, no, that's three sides, four sides, and yeah, that's about it, not much to show with that, and then, with these, with these HX sizes, I think there's a nuclear reactor, I think it's in, um, here, if I can find it, um, hmm. Oh yeah, right here. And this thing... Oh my god. Like, this weighs a lot. Like, it's at 60 tons. And it, it doesn't produce much power for it, for the amount of for the weight it is. You know? Only... It weighs... It only produces 600 per second and only... Like, uh... This produces 2,000 per second. This is from the S Umbra Space Industries, which I'll show off in a later video, but... Um, how much is it? Yeah, but... This gives 2,000 per second, and it only weighs 7.75, so you can see the kind of inefficiency with this one. I really don't like using this one, because, yeah, obviously it doesn't... It just not doesn't work for me. Um, but... If we go back... There are a lot of, uh, sample craft. Um... Wait, where did all the, the sample craft go? That was weird. Oh well, let's just build our own. Uh, and have it crash hilariously. So, hmm. I think I'll do... Uh, this right here. Have, uh... Go to... Go here. Use the HLs. No, that's a little bit too big. There we go. And then, what, what's this? Um, the fuel and oxidizer. Um, hmm. Well, this is gonna be something. And, oh, I also forgot, I got uh, there is multiple engines that go along with this pack. Uh, where are they? There's these VTOL engines, which are pretty cool. They, um, they allow your plane to take off vertically, I think. Um, like that. And then there is, uh, these turbofan engines, which are basically, like, actual jet engines. And, like it says, the max speed is Mach 0.95. Um, and then we have, if we go, hmm, oh yeah, these guys, this is like you, what you find in a 747, like, uh, and they actually look the part too, uh, if I can just find an attachment point, why, why you no attach, uh, well, you can imagine it sitting under here, and we'll, Look at the engine quality. Um, but anyways, there's then this turbofan engine, which is which has a max speed of Mach 3.2, and it's probably used on something like uh, an F-22 Raptor or something like that. Um, and then there's this F... Oh, this is like an F-22 Raptor, because this is really good at thrust vectoring. Like, you could you could probably spin this around in like two seconds. I don't, I don't know, with a good enough fighter. 
But anyways, uh, there's some more, I think there's some more heavy duty stuff. Like if we go, yeah, here's the sabers. These are kind of like the, Sky... these are like the Skylons. Um, th this is the engine that the Skylon space plane project, if you've heard of that, run off of. And so, let's see, let's put one on here. Uh, and then make a wing. Like, they have gigantic wings. If we go to here, a 4 by 6 meter delta wing. Like, look at that. I don't, I don't even know how to, like, imagine that. But, as it with any good airplane design, I need to look at my center of mass and my center of lift and see if those coincide. Those do not, so I need to have more, um... Oh my god, why was it... it Why, when I go here, there, eh, eh. yeah, see, this is the hard part. Probably take off these VTOL engines and uh, move these guys right here, and then take off the VTOLs, and then have um, this guy right here, and then put a 4x6. I know this might fly horribly, but whatever. And then we gotta put some landing gear on this. If, let's see here. I might, you know what? Put like, these like on like no tomorrow, because why not? Why not? Why possibly not? This looks like, this more like, it looks more like a critter, like, yeah. It looks like a person with acne. Like, bad acne. Uh... Do we have enough? Never. We can never have enough intakes. And that, my friends, is called air hogging. Uh... Hmm. Get rid of those. Um... Uh, and then... Uh, where is... Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, I need to... No, I already put the intakes in. Um, now I need to find some wheels. Some wheels. Things existed. Oh, now I understand. Uh... Huh. What? what? I'm... I'm confused. Is it this? That? That? Uh huh. But then, what do we do for you? All right, let's take out all. No, 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 no. Not the oxidizer here. Take out all the oxidizer here, so that this lifts a bit more majestically. Um. Now let's test this out. Mm, we'll probably get a crash. I'm assuming. Let's see here. Yeah. It, oh god. <laughs> uh. Redesign. This will not fly. Like. Literally. <laughs> ha ha. You see. Da da. Man, this is um. But the problem is, we gotta make these wheels. Um. Wait. We gotta, like, have a. Like, something like this. And then. Put them on top of that. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Here we go. That should. That should do it. Um, this will load. Come on. Yay! We actually got something that runs. It will probably crash, crash hilariously. Oh, wait. I didn't even install any air, air, 
um, what is it? Control surfaces. What, what am I gonna do? Like, um, okay. Now I know I need some struts here. I need a, I need a, I need this thing working before I exit. Let's see here. Um, and you know what? Let me install a couple of sabers on, well, saber S's on the, uh, let's try to go. Oh my, oh my god. You know what? Put them right here. Just put them randomly right here. Because, you know, that's always good. Uh, come on. Like that. That'll do nicely. But, anyways. Control surfaces, control surfaces, control surfaces. How do I always forget them? Uh, let's do a, let's have a formula control surface. Why you twist? Nah. There. It's kind of see me struggling to get that connected. And there we go. Um, this is the worst plane ever. Um, hmm. Now let's give it some winglets. I mean, now I need some sta stable leaders. In the very front. Do the work, and then launch it. This will surely fly, cause you know, science. And I'm sorry, I really should have cut the video at this, but the more the merrier. In terms of watching me fail. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, this is the gaming space. Ooh, they survived. Aw, they thought they would crash. This is the gaming space. Signing out.